old guard lipidologists out there have stopped focusing on LDL just because the evidence for it is kind of crappy. Mm -hmm. They've shifted to ApoB as their target, and it can be get a bit confusing for people. So what are your what are your thoughts on ApoB as being like the new you know, ooh, boogeyman of, of lipids. Yeah. So, you know, the first thing is you're right. You know, why did they have to go to this other marker? Because the first marker was not good. And that needs to be more widely acknowledged. ApoB is slightly better. And ApoB is slightly better because it's not only looking at your LDL particles. It's also looking at, you know, what are called VLDL and IDL particles. ApoB has the same problem that looking at LDL does in that if your ApoB is high, you need to know, is your ApoB high because you have a lot of large LDL particles, which is good, or is your ApoB high because you have a lot of small, dense LDL particles, VLDL particles, IDL particles, which is not good. 